Hello, and welcome back to my Ultima 4 Quest of the Avatar playthrough series. We're right here where we left off here at the Silent Onk. We got the White Stone last time, and uh, yeah, it was a good episode. We made progress on our checklist, and that's good. Now, I'm going to switch to our notes because I did a little... I did a little uh, working on finding some things out last time. And uh, I want to remind us of one of the key riddles regarding the axiom. I did do some looking up on the axiom. And that is, one must know the combination of the three principles of virtue. The combination of three prin principles equals the measure of space and time. And that's going to be key in understanding what the axiom is. Now, somebody, I couldn't find the comment again. Somebody did mention to me recently that I should be looking at these. These are runes. And I guess I'd never really put together that, you know, these were runes that we have a translation for here. We have a key that tells us what is what. So what could this possibly be telling us? It's telling us infinity, which is, is a Buzz Lightyear approved word. Uh, and then it all makes sense. What equals the measure of time and space but infinity. So I'm pretty comfortable saying we know the pure axiom. I checked it off here. I also was reminded um, that the uh, three-part key, the key to the codex, is actually something we pick up at the altars in the dungeons. So I've, uh, I've modified the Abyss checklist to show that and uh, this is just the entry to the abyss with the bell, book, and candle. I've also put these into the order that I think they are, the same as the bell, book, candle, courage, truth, love, Corvera Mo. With that, we got the white stone last time. And then the other thing I found out is that there is another stone that is in the wild. Yeah, so this is the, the comment from uh, Brian Miller. Um, where he mentions that that the three part key is what we get um, uh, from the dungeons, so we have to go to the dungeons. He also says, "Ask LB about the codex," which I think I had done. LB, of course, being Lord British, I, I also think I want to um, ask him about Infinity and see what he has to say about that. I, I'm kind of tempted to go back to Cove and ask everybody about Infinity and see if they got anything new to say. I don't know that I will. I might do that off cam. Um, we'll see. We'll see. But I, I do want to stop by Lord British. We're kind of in the neighborhood and then we'll do that. And the, uh, Brian mentioned, check, check your elevation visions. Now I also discovered quite by accident that there is another stone out in the wild. That's not in a dungeon. And while I could have spoiled myself on the whole thing, I just grabbed the first, uh, the first, uh, step on that, which is talking to splot a skeleton in Magencia of ruins. So we have to return to Magencia. That's what we're going to do today. We're going to go talk to Lord British and then we are going to return to Magencia and, um, try to find this skeleton that's there. So obviously to get out of here, we need to cast Blink again. So we're gonna cast Blink and we wanna head to Lord British and he should be off to the east. And away we go. And let's, I think I need to head south now. I think I went too far south. Where am I? I really don't want to fight these guys. I really don't, but I guess I'm probably going to have to. I'm an F. I'm an F and F. I'm like right there. I just need to go south a little bit more. Yep, yeah, there's my ship. There's our British. I'll fight these guys <laughs> when we come out. We're, as soon as we walk out of the castle, those, those orcs are going to be like, yo, what's up? Let's throw down. So, and then I want to take the moon gate. So we're going to have to deal with the, with the bandits too, but we'll, we'll deal with that. We'll deal with that. Get out of my way. All right. So let's climb. 
and we'll go see our good buddy lord british uh we we healed up we slept and healed so we are full health we don't need any of that what would you ask me so let's first ask about the codex he can't help me with that that's interesting that's not what i expected to hear um all right abyss the great stadium abyss is the darkness darkest part remaining in britannia it is said is in the deepest recesses of the abyss of the chamber of codex it's also said that only one of the highest reach in the chamber once is the avatar so let's go chamber because it's the chamber of the codex okay infinity uh axiom i think i've asked him about axiom before okay he's got nothing to say about infinity i i, I will say i i feel that infinity as the axiom to say that you're going to take all these virtues and um you know the whole the whole stinking list of honesty compassion valor justice uh, you know, so on and so forth, and say if you if you, you combine them all together, and that makes infinity, or infinity is split up into those. I I, I think they're I think they're the game makers stretched a little bit in their lore. You know, I I think they they did go with the virtues and the principles. I certainly get how the three principles of courage, truth, love, you know, relate to the eight virtues. But I, I think to, to to say that, you know, kind of the where you put those things together becomes infinity is I mean, maybe this is some philosophy thing I'm not not familiar with. Entirely possible, but in my humble opinion. All right. Yeah, did I call it or did I call it? Let's just take these guys out. There's a number of these guys. Um yeah, what is I don't really want to waste the Jinx spell on these guys. I haven't had time to go get more Mandrake. So I still have to do that. I'll probably try to do that before uh, the next the next episode. But that really wasn't one I wanted to hit. All right, good job. Man, I'm just hitting the wrong orc. All right. Bring you up. All right. I'm liking our speed going through these guys. Julia, you're still killing me. Might have to get her a bow. That's probably something else I need to do off offline is get a bunch of magic bows. All right, Dupree. Dupree, you're going to go up and help her. Maybe I'll have Jana step over so she can use her bow. Oh, I admit, sorry, Julia. That's on me. That's on me. I, I did it to Dupree last episode, and now I'm doing it to you. All right. No acid trap for me. All right, so I guess we might as well face these guys down. There's only four of them. This should be peasy. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Let's just get them dead as fast as humanly possible. That's plenty fast. We stole our gold. Mother pus bucket. All right. All right, another one one arrow. Beautiful. All right. I don't know if we got our gold back or not. All right, so we need to figure out our navigation. So let's go look at the Moongate stuff here. Moon phases. So we want to get to Magencia from Lord British. So I think the best way to go is to go down to the Trinsic Moon Gate. So we'll go to Trinsic, and then from Trinsic, we will go to Magencia.
Okay, here we are outside the ruins of Magentia. Now, I, th I think part of what did me in is when I first went through these, I would avoid guys like, you know, this, this um, demon here. Uh, things that were normally um, in the outer world, things that you want to avoid because I didn't really want to fight them. Uh, but I think... I mean, I know there was, um, I think it was uh, a sea serpent that was like in the moat of one of these places and I didn't fight it and I got, I lost a slice for that, but um, I don't know. I guess I just need to try, you know, really, really what it comes down to. Okay. So we have to go through poison here. And of course the two weakest people. So how many cures do we have? We have 15. All right. Uh, I probably need to, to do up a bunch of these things. All right. So I need to cure. I need to cure Jana first. And then I will cure Shamino. And we're probably going to have to cure more people on the way out. All right. I just want to... Because I'm not certain I talk to these people. Okay. Proud. Pride. All right. We have ghosts. I don't remember really getting much from the ghost. What's your job? I haunt. All right. Let's find this skelly. There's a, oh, there's a bunch of skellies. He's going to be the skelly in the poison, isn't he? Name. Dimitri. That's not the guy. That's not the guy because the guy that we're looking for is Splot. What's your, what's your, what's your job, Dimitri? Bones. <laughs> bones, bones, and dry bones. Nope, I am not. Watch out for Nate. Who's Nate? Interesting. Name. Weird, weird, weird drum. I'm try, I can't say that right. W-I-E-R-D is like weird. But it's not like you're strange weird. It's like you know, uh, arcane energy, weird. You're weird kind of thing. I haunt, I haunt, I haunt. All right. I mean, are you haunting when you're a skelly? I don't know. A haunting job takes more than a lifetime. It takes forever. All right. Thank you. All right. So there's really no good way to do this, but to go on two patches of of this Jana again bloody hell oh I I'm an idiot I can't talk all right what is your name it's not our guy oh my god oh my god all right um job the silver horn oh we have the horn we know the horn yeah, 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 yeah. We've used the horn. All right. I'm not going to... As annoying as that is for every fracking stop, I'm not going to waste... more cure spells because we have more poison to get through. And I'm not totally convinced I don't have to walk through that poison up there. Come on. I need to keep an eye on Julia, though. She's got the lowest health. Oh, no. Okay, we can't fight this guy. We don't fight serpents. We saw that last time, and it worked fine. 
but I have to be the last one to leave the field. Well, you can poison me all you want there, serpent. I'm already poisoned. I can't see. Oh, bloody hell. All right, I need to just look around. And of course, it's all this difficult terrain. That takes multiple steps sometimes. There's another ghost. Bunch of ghosts. And there's more poison down there. Yeah, boy, is this annoying. This is this is not exactly what I was hoping to be doing here. Creeping along because everybody's poison. Well, Joffrey and Dupree aren't. All right. And I'm going to heal Jonna. All right. I, let me come down here. Oh, that's right. I can't see from the shop. I'm going to have to walk through all this poison. All right. Ah, oh, no, I'm not going to do that. I need to look in these. Oh, that's interesting. There's another skelly. Is this the same one we talked to before? There's another one down there. Name. Slim. Job. Rattle. Okay, so let's just keep moving. These look like different ones. Weeping skeleton. That's interesting. Name. Splot. Here's our guy. Splot. All right, Mr. Splot. What's your job? I regret. What do you regret? I was I was proud to strip thyself of conceits and only the humble are pure. The root from which all virtues grow. Yes, I am pure. Not yet. Then ask the snake of the rune and stone. Okay. So I gotta go talk to the snake. The snake that attacked us before. But now I gotta try to go talk to it. I really hope it didn't disappear because it attacked us. Because I'm not seeing a snake. Oh boy. Oh. I cured her. I meant to heal her. But I guess that's okay. There's no snake. 
crap. All right, so I'm going to have to leave Magencia and come back in. All right, whatever. Well, let me get past. And she got done again. Lovely. This is just so annoying. I'm going to... Uh, All right, so first of all, I'm going to cure everybody. Uh, so I'm going to cure Jana. I'm going to cure Shamino. I'm going to cure Julia. Ooh. I'm going to cure Katrina. I'm going to cure Iola would be next. Iolo. And then the last would be me. I really didn't want to do this, but I'm just tired of it. And um, we're going to hold up in camp. Some of the people like Gianna and Katrina, I might also have to do a heal spell on because they are so low. Yeah, they actually were all right. I mean, we may get poisoned again here, but we'll see. I mean, we have to go through at least this one patch of poison. Oh, we got lucky that time. All right, let's see if we can talk to the snake. All right, stone. Those who seek the black stone need to ask at the pub in Britain. I feel like I got that before. That sounds familiar. Did I just lose track of that? All right, well, let's, uh, and then he sends us Blackstone. Stone ask at pub. So he tells us, talk to, to Snake. Okay, and then the stone says, ask at pub in Britain. In Britain. Okay, let's go back. All right. Well, thank you, sir. The rune we already have, so we don't need to worry about that. All right, and then he wants to fight because he's a snake, and he can't. He can't deny his nature. But we're not going to fight you, Mr. Snake. Thank you for your information. But we will leave you be. All right, so let's get out of here. I don't for a second believe we're going to get past this without somebody getting poisoned. <laughs> Did I call it? But let's cure Dupree. All right. That could have been a lot worse, so. All right, so let's take a peek at our navigation. We gotta get back to Britain from Magencia. If we go back to Trinsic, I think, we'll, yeah, we'll just reverse our path and we'll go to, to Trinsic and then we'll go back to, from Trinsic to Lord Britain or to Lord British and then we'll go over to Britain and uh, I guess do a little day drinking. Okay, so we'll go down. Oh, I don't need to go down there. Let's enter the town of British. It's been a little while since we've been here. Uh, it's armory and weapons. I don't think there's anything we need there. There's the manor. Here's the pub. All right, time for a little day drinking. We'll do ale. Uh, I'll pay thirty. Uh, stone. 
Yes. Ale. 50. Black. Is this what Swami me before? Now, maybe it says ask at the pub, but maybe the barkeep isn't necessarily the person to ask. So let's ask these bozos. bozos. The yellow stone is in the dungeon of spies. All right. I think we knew that, but let's just, I'm just going to double check. Yeah, I knew that. Okay. I didn't know anything about the black stone. Okay. Stone. Thank you. Okay, so you know nothing. There's that other guy back there. There's two guys back there, but first these guys need to, like, move. Okay, so I can talk to this guy. Stone. Black. job the mystery of the magic orbs the one-handed beggar knows her secrets orbs of blue light that will raise strength dexterity or adela or intelligence at a cost i think we find those in um we learned about that i think we find those in uh Only he knows the orb's gift. Yeah, okay, so we did that. So I need to get back to this bard. How can I get back to this bard? Come on. Why don't you move and make a... Make a hole so I can get to the bard, please? I need this guy to, like, move. No, not with me, you idiot. Come on. Move. Move up. Move up. Move up. Oh, dear God. Come on. Now, yes, thank you. Jeez. Cricket. Job. I, I'm playing stone. Black. the barkeep again ale if I pay him 10 black yes yes ale okay so I can only pay him two digits worth so let's say 99 stone black Yes. Yes, AL ninety nine. Okay, I guess maybe this is how far I got. I remember the clue ask at pub in Britain. There's nobody else to ask. You know, the food guy if I say yes. I'll say one. I mean, yeah, there's no other. There are other options with this guy just to buy food. So I don't, and I've talked to all of these idiots that are hanging around. Maybe this guy. I'll give him a little bit. I'll give him 25 gold. Stone. You know anything about the stone? Black. Yeah, so I don't understand. I mean, I've I've tried to do the whole day drinking overpay to loosen his tongue thing. And I've done it several times. These two guys that are in the front, they only know about the Yellowstone. 
which is great, but I, that's not what I need. I mean, if I just pay him two, it'll just, he'll give me the ale and I've had ale. If I pay him three. Oh, I have to type it. So usually it's only the short stuff. I've heard of it, but the only one who knows where it lies is the wizard Merlin. Oh, bloody hell. We just ran into Merlin. At Moonglow, perhaps? Oh, where was Merlin? <laughs> oh, my God. We've been to Moonglow recently. We've been to Empath Abbey recently. I'm pretty sure he's not at the Abbey. I remember him. He was like standing on the outside of a building, kind of in a hidden, quasi-hidden space. Oh, man. That's, yeah, I, I don't, I remember the, you know, because Merlin as a name stands out. All right. That was interesting because usually... Yeah, I've been told that that usually uh, it's only looking at the first four letters of anything that you type in. So I, I didn't think there was any purpose in typing in you know, fire lizards. Ooh, a lot of them. Do I have tremors? I don't have tremors, but I think this would be a good use of a jinx. So let's do that. All right, so you see none of them are dead right away. But um, as time goes on here, we should see some effect from the spell. Oh, oh I forgot these guys shoot lava. All right, that's kind of annoying. This might be a good place to do electrical field. Energy type. Um, can I do electrical? No. Okay, I'm gonna have to go back to the spell book on that. That's unfortunate. All right. All right, so I think I have to do, there is a specific order that's listed in the spell book. And I think I have to, to do those, I, I have to put a number in, in that order. Um, so, I don't know why. Oh, I moved. I know why I moved over. Why did I move over there? I moved over. So there's lava there right in front of Dupree. But the lava lizards can... Well, there's nobody there to shoot at. Let's actually move you over. The lava lizards can walk in the lava. Obviously, we don't want to because that would be hard on our little tender footsies. All right, enough of the missies, all right. Is that guy fleeing? How, why is he fleeing? We haven't hit him. That one's dead. Oh, she's supposed to fire. Crap, that's on me. They both act like they're fleeing. Maybe this is the jinx? Yeah, I, I, I don't... We haven't really seen much evidence of the jinx spell doing anything to them. 
maybe it took some hit points away and we just but before i would randomly hear and that was a mistake i would randomly hear the hit sound like they were getting hit with something and i did not hear that here at all so maybe lava lizards aren't affected by jinx tremor would have affected them i'm certain of that but All right, there we go. All right, get over here near the gate and let's uh, go look at our notes and navigation. And so to get to Agencia from Lord British or Moonglow from Lord British, we got to go where? I think Minoc. No, not Minoc. You, I guess. No. What are, how are we going to have to go? So we go from Lord British to Trinsic to Moonglow. Just kind of like, like what we did with uh, going to Magencia. Okay, so we'll wait for the moon gate. All right, so here we are on Verity Isle. And then we will enter. That was the that was the uh, person I could not. I'm not sure it was. I'm not sure it was here. Did we come here recently? It was someplace we went to recently, like in the last couple of places, last couple of of episodes. And now I'm trying racking my brain trying to remember where the hell we went, and I don't think it was here. I really don't. We did go all over the Abbey. Um, we did go all over Empath Abbey. Hmm. I'm going to have to think about that, I guess, and um, figure that out. I was really hoping to get this done today, but I'm just kind of floundering here. And I don't think it was at, I really don't think it was at the Abbey. But I'm trying to remember what other town that I was I was uh, scouring for information, and I'm drawing a total blank. I'm drawing a total blank. I may have to look up where it's Merlin, <laughs> or I may just look at my previous episodes and see where the heck we've been. Um, yeah, but I think I will let that be that for this particular episode. I will be back soon with another episode, and I hope you will join me then. So until that time, be seeing you.